Hey guys, welcome to Avery's 10 month update. We are now in the double digits, almost to a year old. I'm already starting to plan her birthday party. It's so exciting, she's almost a year old. Like all my videos, I'm super light getting this out. I'm so sorry, Avery's about 10 and a half months now. It's honestly just been, my life is just so crazy. I just, I don't have time. <laughs> To make these videos but I'm getting it in gosh darn it I will get it in so I'm going back to see what Avery was like at 10 months all right so Avery at 10 months she is 19 pounds almost 20 pounds almost so I think when we had her most recent doctor appointment they said that was like 63rd percentile so about average and then her height She's 30 inches tall, putting her in the 93rd percentile for height. You guys, she is so tall, it's just, it blows my mind. She's in 12 month clothes now because her nine month look like way too small on her. I don't know where she's getting this height from. Anthony and I, my husband, are short people. So I don't know where she's getting this height from. My middle child, Porter, he's really tall too. I don't know, I don't know where they get it from. But anyway, it's awesome. This month, Avery has learned to wave hi. So she will wave hi and bye. Can you wave? Say hi. She won't do it on command. She just does it when she wants to, but she will wave hi. So that's been really exciting. Of course, the people that she loves to wave hi to the most are me, her mom, her dad, and then also her grams, which is my mom. Always when my mom comes in, she'll be like waving. And she started to wave at like my sister too. So she's getting like more comfortable with it, I guess. Avery also loves to play peekaboo. Anytime a blanket is near her, she'll grab it and put it over her face and then she'll take it off. And she loves playing peekaboo. She gets a smile on her face. It's so fun to see her like doing a game and interacting and she's just so cute. It's so fun playing that with her. This past month, we have been dealing with the nine month sleep regression. Heck, I think we're still dealing with it. Not so much sleeping. Sleeping, she still does fine. She's sleeping through the night. Sometimes she might get up at like 6 a.m. and I can feed her real quick and she'll go back to sleep until like 7, 7.30. But for the most part, she sleeps through the night. Naps have been absolutely horrible for weeks now and it's still continuing like today. She just refused her morning nap, just didn't take it. So we're going on no nap right now and she'll probably just take one nap. It's been so frustrating. This past month, I've been having her take two naps a day. The first one, I put her down at 9.30 and then the second one, I put her down at one. And you guys, she takes these naps like an hour at a time and that's it. Like she just doesn't nap. So I'm just like wondering if maybe I should just move her to just one nap a day. She seems really young to move to one nap a day, but I think my middle child Porter about her age moved to one nap a day. You could see she's like rubbing her eyes like she's probably tired, but I put her down in her crib and she's just like, no, I'm not gonna sleep. So I don't know what's going on with her, but yeah, naps have just been horrible. She just won't take them, or if she does, it's like an hour. Most days, she wakes up from her second nap at like two. And so I make her stay up until 6.30 for bedtime, but then she's up for like four and a half hours. I'm like, dude, you need to sleep longer. So maybe I need to start putting her down just for one nap and see if that helps. The other day I did one nap because she like, we went to an appointment in the morning so she couldn't take a morning nap. And even then she only slept like maybe an hour and a half. She was still up by two. So I don't know what to do with her. It's just been so frustrating. <laughs> so hopefully it gets better. Back to the nights, Avery has had some, like I said, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. wake ups, but usually I can just feed her and she'll go right back to sleep. So that hasn't been bad. And at night, it's very easy to put her down for bed. She doesn't fight me at all on it. So feeding wise, we're still on purees. Avery has no interest in solids. I think that's largely due to her still not sitting up on her own. Um, if you've been following my videos, she's delayed in her milestones. We're working on it. We started with a physical therapist. But yeah, solid, she just has no desire. I've given her crushed up, like mashed up banana before. I'll put foods on her tray, puffs, melts, different things like that. She doesn't care. She'll pick them up, but she'll just throw them on the ground. When I do put them in her mouth, she just pushes it out with her tongue. Sometimes when I am able to get it like further enough in her mouth, 
she gags on it and then pukes everywhere. So it's just been a big struggle with feeding with Avery. This past month, she has come around with um, puffs and melts. She chews on them more and actually doesn't gag on them. Everything else is not as good. I've given her peanut butter, puked, uh, bananas, puked. So yeah, it's just been really rough. So we've just been sticking with purees. I have been doing like step three purees, which are like more chunky. She does oatmeal in the mornings. That's pretty chunky. So we do um, have some different textures, but yeah, solids are just not there yet, which is unfortunate. Avery's most favorite thing to do is bath time. She loves bath time. We put her in a little bath seat and we put all the boys' toys in the bathtub and she has the best time just trying to grab all the toys. Sometimes she'll even put them in her mouth, which is encouraging because that's what babies do. She'll, the other day she started splashing in the water for the first time, so she loves the bath. I mean, she'll sit there for like, 30 to 45 minutes just being entertained with the water. She loves bath time and she knows when bath time is. Like she gets excited, she hears the water come on, I get her naked, she gets so excited for bath. She loves bath time. Avery, like I said, she's not sitting up on her own. We are working on it. She will sit on her own for about 30 seconds at a time, maybe a minute, um, but I always have to be behind her, otherwise she'll lean back and fall or lean forward and fall or side to side. She's not crawling, we're working on that as well trying to get her to pivot um, to the sides to start that movement uh, but she will roll she rolls like crazy everywhere she needs to go and she oftentimes gets stuck in weird places um, from rolling and then uh, she's being crazy okay sorry Avery needed her bottle and then also um, she does scoot backwards so I will put her in a space and she will like I'll come back, I mean, I'm not taking my eyes off of her, but like, I'll take my eyes off of her for a second and I look back and she's like on another side of the room. So she's rolling or scooting. So she's moving somehow, but not crawling, not sitting. She's not pulling up on furniture, like nothing like she should be at her age, which is kind of frustrating at times. Um, definitely the sitting is frustrating because I wish I could just like put her down and have her sit and she would just be fine, but I can't do that. Like I always have to sit behind her, otherwise she's gonna fall. And thankfully she has this helmet on, so that protects her head, but yeah, it's, it's kind of frustrating for sure. Avery loves watching her brothers play. She's loved it for months now, but yeah, she loves watching them play. She's definitely a daddy's girl too. She loves being with Anthony. She gives him the biggest smiles. She smiles for him easier than me, I swear. So she loves her dad. Avery is babbling like crazy. It's probably not in the 10 month, but in the 11th month, which I'll review in a couple weeks, I guess. She started to do that N sound, so she'll say na, na, na. And just this past week, she started the N sound, ma, 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 ma. So finally, finally, she's been saying da, da, and da, da is still like her favorite consonant to say, but um, now she's finally gotten the M sound done. So every now and then she'll do mama. Still loves dad dad, but yeah, she talks all the time. She's constantly grabbing her feet, as you can maybe see, and she's always talking, always saying something. So she's very vocal, very chatty. She also loves sticking her tongue out. She's always sticking her tongue out in pictures we have of her. I don't know why, maybe she just discovered it, but yeah, it's always out. Um, she also loves chewing on her hands. I swear, she's teething like crazy. Crazy. She's been teething since like four months old, still no teeth. I swear one day I'm gonna wake up and she's gonna have like six of them at once or something. So still and no teeth for Avery, but she's sometimes I'll see her and she'll have both hands in her mouth at the same time chewing on those fingers. And she loves chewing on her toes as well. She's very flexible. Yes, there's your foot. Yes, we see it. Um, so in the past, we put Avery down on the ground and then maybe I've gone to go help the boys do something or paid attention to them and Avery would just not really care. But this past month, I've definitely seen a change in Avery to where she wants attention and she will voice frustration when I'm not giving her attention. So that's encouraging to see um, that she's not just like a potato and actually like wants me to interact with her. Actually, just the past week or so, she's been 
like very clingy and wants me to always hold her or be around her. She doesn't like me walking away from her. So that's been a change. Avery does not like being pushed out of her comfort zone. Um, we've been working with the physical therapist like I told you guys and Avery hates it. She does not like the exercises that we do to get her to sit, to get her to build up her core, to get her to work on moving um, her hands and get up on her knees to start to crawl. She does not like it and she will voice her frustration. So yeah, she's definitely a little stubborn. Avery loves playing with her teether toys. Those are probably her favorite. She's got like this little saw like hand mitten teether toy that she loves chewing on. And then she also has like that little penguin teether toy that she loves. She also loves any toy that like makes sound. Really all toys she really likes. There's this little butterfly toy. I don't know what it is about it, but whenever I have it with her, she laughs. It's like one of the few toys that can actually make her laugh. That's another thing this past month or maybe this past couple weeks, she's been laughing so much more lately, so much more easily. It used to be in the past, like she didn't laugh till she was eight months old. So she was delayed in that. And then um, even then we could only get her to laugh like maybe like once every few weeks. Like it was very few and far between. Now it's like her laughing is a lot more regular. Like maybe it's once every few days she's laughing. So definitely making progress there. Avery's hair, I know it's hard to see because she's got the helmet on. It's growing so, so fast. It, again, it's hard to see. But once she stops wearing the helmet, which the helmet place is thinking maybe four to six more weeks so not much longer I'm hoping 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 to have it off by her birthday but once we stop wearing this I'm gonna have to start getting like some rubber bands or bows or something because she's got a lot of hair her hair is just growing so fast especially in the past month updates on Avery medically I think I mean I've kind of touched on it we're in she's in physical therapy sessions so she go so she has sessions um, once every other week so we're started on those she's still obviously wearing her helmet but like I said we're we're almost done with that probably four to six more weeks so we're very excited to be done with that we I think I talked about in my last video we had an appointment with the geneticist I don't know if I talked about it or not they were gonna test Avery for some genetic conditions just to see maybe that's what's causing delays maybe not so we're kind of in the process with insurance right now trying to figure all that out she doesn't have her next pediatrician appointment till one year so that'll be coming but Anyway, that's about it for Avery. She's obviously done with this video. She does not like to sit still, which makes it very hard to do when I'm trying to like work with her on, on kneeling and, and sitting on her own. She just wants to move, 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 move and be close to mom. But like I said, I'm starting to plan her first birthday party. Um, I'm gonna go with the theme, some bunny is one because her birthday is March 30th. And this year, Easter is the day after on March 31st. So we're actually gonna have her birthday party on Easter because it's just easiest. Everybody's in town anyway and just get both things knocked out at once. So I thought the bunny would be really cute because obviously Easter bunny. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll do a cake smash and all that good stuff so I've been looking online at some ideas and I gotta order decorations and I did schedule a uh, first birthday photo shoot I do that with all my kids I'm hoping 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 that by then she'll be sitting can't really do a cake smash if you're not sitting so oh uh, it's just stressing me out if you guys um, have been through this and uh, you don't and you've had a kid like go through physical therapy and trying to get sitting and, and crawling and catching up to those milestones. If you guys have any um, suggestions on things I can do with Avery, the obviously the physical therapist gave us some things. So we're having her kneel on cushions um, and reach for things. And we're having her pivot in us to the sides um, when she's on her belly doing tummy time. So if you have any other ideas of things I can do with Avery, please write them down in the comments below. I would love the help. I'm trying to get her caught up as fast as I can. I know eventually she's going to be doing all this and eventually she's going to be walking and and she'll be totally caught up and and it won't even nobody will even know that she was behind but it's just uh, every day that passes I just feel like I get more and more frustrated with the lack of progress that <laughs> I see but I know it's gonna come so we'll, we'll get there but anyway I think that's about it for this update sorry it's a little longer one thanks so much for tuning in sorry it was a little late 
Um, only two more of these monthly updates to go. And then, <laughs> and then I get, don't have to worry about these anymore until half year, I think I just do yearly ones. Maybe I'll do a half year because 18 months is kind of a big deal. But anyway, that's going to be it for Avery. Can you say bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, she's off. She's over it. So we're going to get going. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. 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 She sees my phone. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Bye, guys.